How's it going guys? Quick mini build. I've always been a really big fan of ballistic shields on the front of guns. For one, I always thought they looked really cool, but for two, the more I've played paintball, the more I've realized it would actually be a really nice thing to have on there, especially when you're shooting from above cover because you have to expose so much more of yourself as opposed to shooting on the sides. Um, I'll tell you right off the bat, this is probably not the type of thing you're going to be able to take onto a regulation paintball field, um, and even if they do let you on the field, they'll probably count it as a hit for you to get shot in the shield, which I think is a little bit silly, but um, what this would actually be be good for is if you and a few friends have your own paintball guns and you have some unincorporated land that you can play on um, and you can you know pick your own rules for the paintball game uh, that's what this would be ideal for. I'm gonna be doing this mod for my X7 or the Tipman X7 Phenom uh, but if at some point I do get a standard paintball gun I'll try to figure out a way to make a shield that's compatible with a regular round barrel as opposed to with the rails but we're gonna have to work with what we got today. Now here's all the stuff that I can think of that you're gonna need if I use anything else I'll make sure that you guys see it we've got some quarter inch by quarter inch steel rivets I'm gonna be using a 12 by 18 street sign if you don't have legal access to a street sign then just buy some sheet metal from a hardware store or from a wholesale place that'll give you a much better price than a hardware store but whatever you do do not steal a street sign I'm pretty sure it's a felony uh, you can if you're over 18 go to jail for a really long time and if you're under 18 you can get your family fined a ton of money which would make you a jerk I got this one from an uncle who works for the city replacing vandalized street signs if if you don't have an uncle that works for the city replacing vandalized street signs then uh, maybe go to like a metal recycling place and see if they have any uh, that they're about to melt down that you can buy from them uh, but other than that yeah just buy some sheet metal from a hardware store we've got a regular spring clamp from Home Depot we have a little piece of angle iron and we have an inch and a half wide eighth inch thick piece of steel all right first we're gonna draw the design out with a sharpie a speed square is gonna help a lot with this to make sure that everything's even and then once we've got it all drawn out then we're gonna cut it out with a jigsaw And now that we got that cut out, we're going to take our clamp and cut where I made that top line and then at this bottom line, you're going to make a shallow bend. Just barely pull these edges outwards a little bit too. Now that the clamp looks like this, we're going to test the fit on the rail. Now we're going to take a little bit of that angle iron and we're going to rivet it to one of the handles of the clamps. Now I lean it up against the street sign and mark around the angle iron. And before I go any further, I'm gonna make some bends right here. Now if this was the real version, like the kind that goes on the front of a real gun, uh, it would be angled so that bullets could deflect off of it easier. But being that this is for paintball and it doesn't have to be bulletproof and it's not bulletproof, this is just really to make it look better. So you don't actually have to do this if you don't want to. So I used my vise to bend it into this shape and now that that is done, we can rivet the clamp to the inside. And I'm using a couple of magnets to hold the steel flat up against the aluminum while I rivet it. And that's really all there is for the construction. We just gotta paint it now. All right, now while that is drying outside, I wanna take a second to remind you guys that on the 3rd of May, 2015, this year, uh, that's when the shirts are gonna go on sale and they're only gonna be for sale for two weeks, okay? After that, you're not gonna be able to get this particular design of shirt anymore. Um, and for the first three days of the sale, I will give you a promotional code that you'll be able to get free shipping anywhere inside the US. I'm gonna give you the URL to get to the page to buy the hoodies and the shirts and and I'm going to give you the promotional code on the same day. That's going to be on the third, the same day that the campaign launches, okay? And I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, if this shirt and hoodie campaign really works out, I could be completely free from money problems for some time. Like, this isn't me just trying to make a fast buck so I can, like, get Chipotle every now and then for the next two weeks. Like, you guys buying a shirt or buying a hoodie would really, really, truly help me continue making videos for, for some time. Like... You know, just, just think about that if you were sort of like maybe, maybe not 
you know, just saying. And here's the whole entire setup. You can see it doesn't interfere with any of the other workings, and in my opinion, it looks really, really cool too. Now, if that's not cool, I don't wanna be. Anyways, guys, keep an eye out on May 3rd for the shirts, remember, and also for the promo code that I'm gonna release on the same day. Uh, but that's all I got for today, so thank you guys very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.